Hey, what's up, guys? So today I managed to open the Christmas RMR, and uh, this right here is the throttle body of uh, Christmas RMR, fuel injected, of course. So we've got three different sensors in here that uh, ECU requires to fuel inject. So when purpose of opening this uh, throttle body was, uh, I recently went to Kaza Spiti, and uh, there was a lot of off-roading and a lot of mud and dust. So I probably need to clean the sensors and this throttle plate as you can see it's really black all over oil in it so also I'm gonna clean this fuel injector as well so let's open this baby up so first I'm gonna open the uh, fuel injector you need a 8mm socket wrench we've got it over here here is the uh, fuel injector yep. make sure when you are removing you are preserving all these o-rings so yeah that pretty much seems in a good condition let me just focus as you can see all the holes are in good condition so uh, let's further remove this thing oh there's petrol all over this place you see so this right here is the fuel injector so I'm gonna clean it in a while so we'll get back to that let's just put it back in here god there's fuel all over the place so next uh, we have this uh, ideal air control valve which controls the uh, amount of air entering into your engine while the engine is idling so as you can see when your throttle body throttle plate is in a fully closed position you see this is what happens when you pull the throttle you pull this lever and uh, the throttle plate goes like this let me just get on the other side and yep there you go so the purpose of this ideal air control valve is uh, uh, when your throttle plate is on a fully closed position the air enters from this side and it goes into this sensor and it comes out on the other side from this hole right here so you know this valve right here it controls the amount of air entering into the engine you know when your engine is idling so let's open this first you need a, a star L key to open this thing up you know so let's go for it This thing is pretty damn. Uh, God, there you go. So as you can see, there's a small motor inside this which keeps on rotating, and uh, when it rotates, this thing moves up and down. So you know, it goes here like this. Where the hell is that path? Yep, there is. So as you can see, air enters from this side, and from there it goes in here and from here it enters this pipe and goes into the uh, sensor bullet so this right here is your uh, ideal air control valve so next let's open this uh, sensor unit you need a bigger star L key to open these screws up You know, if you're having a hard time opening this, you can just cut these nuts up, you know, just to uh, make a groove for this screwdriver right here, as I did, you know. You see, you just put this here, and you remove these. There we go. It's pretty easy. You know, I've recently learned about this uh, Star L key. I didn't have them before, so I just put a hexa blade over here and I just cut this nut like this so you can put this screwdriver over here so let's open this baby up there you 
go and uh, right here we have our sensor unit this thing has three different sensors you know as you can see we have in front of us is a throttle plate angle sensor right here so when you rotate your throttle plate it goes like this and the uh, another sensor I want to talk about is this uh, the air intake temperature sensor it determines the temperature of the incoming air and uh, then it sends the signal back to ECU you know so then ECU calculates the amount of uh, injection into the engine and uh, the third sensor is uh, right in there in this little hole over here you see that is the mass air flow sensor it determines the amount of air entering into the engine so you know basically the purpose of every sensor in the bike is uh, you know determine the amount of fuel injection uh, this thing is pretty oily I don't know how the oil got here so this right here is our uh, throttle body so let me just explain you the path that uh, air takes while your uh, throttle plate is in a closed condition so you see air enters from there and then let me just grab a air comes over here and then from it goes to this pipe and then here and yet as you can see it comes out of here so and then it travels this path and goes back into there here you see so this is the path that air travels while your uh, throttle plate is in a fully closed mode so we are pretty much done with that and let me just clean this throttle plate remember you need this throttle body cleaner you know this carbon choke cleaner to clean this uh, yeah. throttle body as well as your fuel injector well there are many uh, choke cleaners available in the market but make sure the one that you use has a mixture of toluin acetone and methanol basically this right here is a compressed nail polish remover actually a really high quality nail polish remover it can pretty much remove dust from anything and uh, here we have this uh, oil temperature sensor you know uh, the purpose of this thing is uh, you know it helps cold starting the engine uh, this thing is probably fit inside the uh, cylinder head of your vehicle uh, you know uh, old corporated uh, vehicles used to have choke or something like that you know to increase the fuel injection but uh, uh, thanks to this thing uh, you no longer require that I did another video on how to check this thing whether it's working or not you may wanna scroll down my channel for that and uh, um, here we have a uh, oxygen sensor or we call it as O2 sensor uh, this thing is probably fit inside the exhaust of your vehicle you know uh, another name for this uh, sensor is air fuel sensor as it determines the amount of air fuel ratio you know uh, a normal air fuel ratio is 14.7 ratio 1 you know uh, this thing determines the amount of oxygen left at the end of cycle so if there is too much oxygen you are running lean and the, if there is no oxygen left it means you are running rich so this sensor right here preserves the air fuel ratio so here we have the throttle body as explained earlier I managed to fit a blue LED lights let me just light it up for you so you can see this right here is a 12 volt potential and here you go I hope you like the video guys, please do subscribe for more, thanks for watching guys.